drawing is expensive. Okay, if you think about what's happening when drawing, at the very least, you're taking a whole bunch of memory from one place and putting it somewhere else, i.e. from memory into the graphics buffer, from one graphics buffer to another one, or whatever. You know, it takes, the processor's got to run some instructions to move all those things. Now, granted, modern graphics processors, man, they move those things incredibly efficiently. It's just unbelievable how optimized they are. But it's still very expensive. For example, in the calculator we did today, notice that when we perform an operation, we push it on the stack, make an immutable copy of the stack, turn it back around, make it mutable again, go process the whole thing to ca calculate the result. That amount of, the amount of instructions to execute that is nothing compared to the amount of instructions it took to highlight the button that the person t pressed on to make that happen. Okay, now I bring all this up because I want you guys to not fall into a trap that a lot of computer science students do, and even people out in industry who are writing code, is you see something that looks inefficient, and so you're going to dive in and optimize it. Okay? Uh, when you do that and you're not thinking about where the time is actually going, that's called premature optimization. Okay? Don't do that. Uh, you really want to think about the trade-off between, like look at the code we wrote in the calculator. Wasn't that incredibly simple code? I mean, our push operation with one line of code, our, uh, our push operand was one line of code, perform operation with two lines of code. The recursive thing to execute the stack was only like two or three lines. In fact, it was probably only two lines more than we had before. Okay? So that code was super clean. Now, granted, yeah, it's copying arrays, but we know copying arrays is fast. We know that the arrays are small. Okay? You're not going to have someone typing in 100 operations and operands there, likely. Um, so trying to optimize that down and make, add 100 lines of code to really make that all really go fast is a complete waste of time because you know this is only being executed by a very slow thing, which is touches on the screen. Now, I say very slow. It's all relative. Doing a touch on the screen is super fast. I mean, less than a millisecond. But the other stuff is even faster. These processors in these phones are super fast. Okay. But make sure you got the right balance when you're doing performance. Everyone understand where I'm going with that? And I'll say that again a few times. Uh, we do not want to see code in your homeworks where you've added 50 lines of code to optimize something that is less than 1% of the processor time to do a certain task. Okay? Um, and in fact, I'll use this opportunity to say another thing too, which is the programming uh, credo I live by is that the line of code that is the most elegant, has by far the least bugs, is the easiest to write, is the easiest for someone else reading your code to understand, that line of code is the code you never write. Okay? Fewer lines of code is better. That's what programming elegance is about. Okay? Designing your data structures and the way you approach things so that you have fewer lines of code. Not more, fewer. All right, I'll say that a bunch of times too.